Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create drop-down menus in Microsoft Excel. If you're doing data entry in Excel, maybe you have a spreadsheet like this where you're trying to capture the office location and t-shirt size for your employees. Under office location, you could try to remember all of the locations and how to spell them. Maybe you're working on this with someone else as well and they spell things a little bit differently, misspell things. They don't capitalize things like they should, and so on. Same goes for the t-shirt size. Maybe somebody's using large, somebody's using just the L. We have extra small, we have X small, and so on. This is really time consuming and it's also very error prone as you just saw, especially if you have multiple people working in the spreadsheet. It would be much easier if we had something like this, where we could just select the office location from a predefined list, and same for the t-shirt size. So let's see how to do that. The first thing I need to do is enter that data, that data that we're going to pull. I've got a tab here for lookup data. It doesn't have to be on a separate tab though, you could just put everything into the same sheet if you wanted to, but it needs to live somewhere, you need to define that data. You'll see I've got a column for office location and one for t-shirt size. And this is the data that I want to pull into this tab that we were in before, called Before. I'll get rid of this garbage data that we've got. And then we'll start with Office Location. I'll select all the cells here, where I want a drop-down menu to appear. And then I'm going to come up to the Data tab. Depending on the size of your screen, you might get a layout that's a little bit different, but here under Data Tools, you should have Data Validation. So choose that. And here you could validate things against a whole number, you could check that they're a decimal, a date, and so on, but the thing that we want is a list. You want to validate that this data is coming from a list or from those other values in the Lookup Data tab. Once you select that, you need to go specify the source. So where is that data? Where does it live in the Excel workbook? Once this window appears for data validation, switch over to that Lookup Data tab, and we're going to say that cells A2 to A9 that's where the data lives. And then hit the little arrow here again, say OK. And now you'll see that we can choose one of these office locations. We'll do the same thing for t-shirt size, so select all of these. Once again under Data Tools up here, choose Data Validation, a list, just like we did before, the source for this, again, switch back to that lookup data tab or wherever your data is. Select these cells here. In this case, we've got B2 to B9. OK. And now we can choose the size of the t-shirt. It's just that simple. Now, one final note on this. If you need to update your data, let's say you added an office in Chicago and you wanted to keep these in alphabetical order, you could just insert the row here and enter Chicago, for example. If you do it that way by inserting into this area that's already defined to pull your data from, it'll automatically get picked up. If we come up to before, you'll see that Chicago is there. And if you were to look at the list source under our data validation, you'll see it automatically expanded to A10, whereas before it stopped at A9. So that'll automatically get picked up. If you want to add something to the bottom of your list, though, let me just do Control z to undo that row. Let's say you were adding Chicago right here. Because this was outside of the area that was defined, this won't get picked up. So if you want this to get picked up, you'll need to come back to your validation here. Go through similar steps, but instead of ending at A9, you'll need to make sure that you're going all the way to A10. So just a little tip there if you need to update your data. And that does it. That's how to use dropdowns in Microsoft Excel to look up data. If you found this content valuable, we always appreciate likes, subscribes, and shares.